Hey guys. Shh. Do you hear that? It's quiet. <laughs> Devin and Jesse just left. Literally out the door. I just shut the door. And they're taking Catherine home. The girl that I babysit or used to. She just came over today though just to hang out for a little while. So I finally get a chance to film. I don't think I've recorded anything in a couple days. That's just because Devin has been off. So we've been busy, you know, spending time together and playing with Jesse and running around. Today we did our first ever grocery pickup. That was cool and handy. <laughs> I wanted to try that because I thought it would help save money. Because <laughs> usually if I go grocery shopping myself, I stick to my list. But if Devin goes with me, we end up spending way more than we were supposed to. So that's why I did online online order and it went smooth. They only had to substitute one thing, so that's good. But um, my lip looks bad. It's about to bust. I can feel it. I've been slathering on chapstick and it's still gonna bust. But anyways, today is Christmas Eve Eve, the 23rd of uh, December. It's it's night time. It's a little after six right now. Let me set you up here. Try that. Okay. I got some mail that I want to share with you and um, some cards and also day 23 i haven't even opened it yet of uh the 12 days of christmas that marianne sent me <laughs> these are so fun i have been loving every one of them marianne Ugh, i got everything in my way i gotta clean again i haven't been feeling uh too well there's yarn balls everywhere too uh cat was going through my scrap balls i give her scrap yarn all the time and uh, she went through it looking for stuff <laughs> so there's yarn balls everywhere but um what was i saying I don't forgot, <laughs> but I did get some mail today. Let's see here. I haven't showed you these ones yet either. I got these um, a couple days ago, I guess. I can't remember. I'll show you every single one of them as soon as I clean a little. I have some cotton yarn out because I was going to make some dishcloths earlier and I didn't get around to it. Okay, I think I got everything. I do also have me recorded me opening the other days that I haven't put up vlogs, but I do have the clips. They'll be before this or after this or at some point. I'll put them in, but this is day 23. So I've only got two more days, tomorrow and Christmas Day. What is it? Okay, it's stitch markers and it's like a, uh, sa what are they called? Sachet or whatever? It's a little thing of smell good crystal thingies. <laughs> but some really pretty stitch markers. Let's see here, this one has got a green bead and like a diamondy bead. This one's orange colors with a cross. And then the third one is green with an owl. Very cool. Can never have too many stitch markers. I like the uh, claspy things. There's a lever back and then there's two of the light bulb thingies. That smells good. You know, I've been smelling this the whole time and I was wondering what that was and now I know. <laughs> but thank you so much for that. And I got a lot of that stuff set up there because I want to wait and put it all up together. Okay, let's go to the stack then. <laughs> this stack I got today. I went and checked my mail. There's one of the snows off of <laughs> Marsha's card. This one is from Elizabeth in California. This is a really pretty card. She sent me this card. It's glaring. It's got a bunch of doves around a Christmas tree. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. And I got this cute little card from Janet in Wisconsin. And I see your comments all the time. I do see your comments. This is a really pretty card. It says Peace on Earth. And it's an angel and it's sparkly. <laughs> I love the sparkly ones. Thank you, Janet. This one came from Cheryl from Pennsylvania, and you guys will recognize her when I show you the picture. <laughs> she sent me a picture of her and her husband with Santa Claus. Trying to get it to not glare. Ah, uh -uh. there you go. And then the card she sent me is super duper cute. A little truck, and it says, Here comes Santa Paul's. Look at the puppies. <laughs> so cute. And then the last, um, just card. You know, in an envelope, just an uh, envelope card. <laughs> Came from Heather in Michigan. I always have to think about some of the state's letters sometimes. But she sent me this really pretty card. It says, Making Spirits Bright. And inside the card, she sent me a star ornament. Thank you so much for that. Okay, the first one came from, she sent me a card, but it's a picture card, and one, I won't show it because it has her kids in it, and two, she actually asked me not to show it because it has her kids in it, but also, her kids made Jessie some cards, so here's one that her daughter made, Jessie. Got cute little stickers on that. And then here's one that her son made, Jessie. 
Oh, so cute. It's got it written up for Merry Christmas. Oh, I can't wait until Jessie learns to rot. It's going to be so cute. And then she also sent me a Christmas ornament. Let me open it real fast. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful ornament. And it's it's actually really big. And she already put a tag on it, which is really cool. That's so cool that she put a tag on it. But here's the ornament. Let me fix it. Right. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. Big star ornament. It's gonna be so pretty. The only bad thing is it's white and my tree's white, but by next year I'm gonna have a green tree. So it might not be super visible this year, but it'll be super visible next year. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back in its plastic so I don't want anything to happen to it right now. But thank you so much for that. And also in her letter, she said that um, next year they're hoping to take a vacation to Gatlinburg and there's, they're wanting to go some of the same days that we're gonna be in Gatlinburg. So hopefully if things go according to our plans <laughs> we're going to be in uh, Gallenberg at the same time so it'll be cool to meet up and then I also got an unexpected gift from Bonnie first she sent me a picture of her three daughters and she says only that it's okay to show it because she shows her kids on her channel or she used to before the cop of things and then I think you know after all that's over we'll figure it out but here's her daughters ah the little ones glared out <laughs> and then she sent me this really pretty card I love this card it's really sparkly, all of it. Let me put that back in there so I don't lose that picture. And then she also sent me two stitch markers. She sent me a strawberry, which is appropriate because she loves strawberry shortcake. So, um, not the food. Well, she might. I like the food. The, um, the little character, the cartoon. <laughs> super cute strawberry. And then this one's cute. This one's actually super duper cute. I've never gotten a dinosaur one, and it's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> so that's super duper cute thank you so much all right Let's see here. this is another little package that i got i can't remember when a couple days ago it's not even stamped like the um the, you know it's got a stamp but the stamp's not stamped so it's like it never got put through the mail the right way that's probably why i didn't have tracking on it because i wasn't expecting this when it came that's interesting did i show these i can't remember if i showed these i don't think so okay we'll show them <laughs> this is a really cute card though it's from kara and she lives in texas no i didn't show these i know i didn't super cute card of a gingerbread house and she sent me a stitch marker and it's got texas on it and then it's got a cowboy boot with a, a bling. I saw somebody else get one of these too, but I can't remember now who it was. I'm watching so many videos. Thanks so much, Kara. And then this one, this one I have been waiting on for uh, ever. Not forever. A couple weeks. Two, three weeks. Um, this was one of the Get Your Yarn Wish Granted things on Instagram. I did this, and her name is Jennifer. She's from Texas also. That's funny. They're both from Texas. But, um... It like got lost in the mail or something because she sent this is the second one she sent she sent one and i still haven't gotten it and uh so she sent the second one which is this one and i did get it <laughs> and she was prepared to send the third one if this one didn't come because this one was eight days like over or whatever you know should have been here like eight days ago but it finally did come so i guess it got lost or something it was a little beat up it, you know the envelope i can't show you because it's got her address on it but it's um looks like it's been beat up pretty good but i finally got it so that's all that matters but this is the card Got Santa. <laughs> I see the, the card did get squished. And she sent me a bunch of stitch markers. Take them there. I haven't took them off yet because I wanted to show them. But they're really cute and they say a bunch of different words. They say inspire, dream, create, success, another inspire, but it's a different shape. <laughs> and journey. So those are really cool. I can't wait to take those off and use them because they're really cute. And then I got this card. This is from KTC Creations. And her name is Elizabeth, and she's from Kentucky. Uh, it's a photo card, though. I'm not going to show it because it's got her kids. So, uh, she may not want that all over the internet. But thank you so much for that. I did get it, and it's right here. So, now i got all these that i got to organize and hang up. And then i got another package that I was waiting for forever. Uh, this is from Michelle from Michelle Shell Crochet. Is that how you say it? <laughs> she sent me this, and it's been a while. I don't know if it has to date on here. It was shipped on the 11th of December, and I just got it yesterday. Yeah, I got it yesterday, and um, 
Yeah, we went and got it out of the post office, yeah. Wait, was it yesterday Sunday? I can't remember. Yesterday or Saturday, I got it. She had messaged me to see if I had gotten it because it's been so long. But it is from Canada, so it probably just took a while to get here. But she, she's from Canada, so I'm just said everything. All right, so the card that she sent me, she put stickers on it. And it says, the merriest Christmas ever. But she put Christmas pudding stickers. And on the inside, there's more Christmas pudding stickers. And she said she put them because they reminded her of me. <laughs> but she sent me some goodies. Me and technically Jessie some goodies. So she sent me some scrunchies. So now I have six scrunchies that were made for me by other people. Which is cool. And I actually do use scrunchies all the time. So, And some of these might end up with Kat, the girl babysit. Because she has a really bad habit of taking my scrunchies. <laughs> and my hair bowl thingies in general. Hair ties. And then she sent me two face scrubbies. These are actually really big and squishy. I can't wait to use these. I was waiting to uh, show them before I started using them. But I have some that I made and they don't feel like this. So I can't wait to try this. It's really weird yarn. I guess she held two different yarns together. I don't know. I had to ask her. <laughs> and then she also sent a flying disc. It's, she said it's from um, Bagaday. Where is it? No, it was on Instagram that she told me that it was. I think it's a bag of day program, uh, pattern. But it looks like a hat, but it's not a hat. <laughs> it's like a frisbee, you know. <laughs> There's like cloth the ones that they made, and then someone started making a uh, crochet version. When I haven't played with it yet with Jesse or Devin because I was waiting to show it to you guys because I knew it's going to get lost. <laughs> but um, I'm excited to play with it. But it, it seems to work just for my hair. <laughs> and I know that Anna from Adventures Anna, she made some at some point. So, yeah. So, we got that, and we're going to play with that. So, thank you so much, Michelle, for all the goodies. All right, I'm going to put that there so I can know it's Michelle. All right, I think the last piece of mail that I got. Well, we did get this Christmas card from someone at Devin's work. <laughs> from, I think her name is Linda. Yeah, Linda from Devin's work. <laughs> so, that's another card that I got. And then today I got this box. It was from Phyllis in New Hampshire. This is such a cool box. Me and Devin was both super excited opening this, and we were just, like, going all through it. It was just so much fun. But there's so much stuff stuffed in this little tiny box. But first on top was this really pretty cross-stitch ornament of a cardinal, which is my favorite bird. <laughs> it's just so pretty. It's, I don't know if you can see it good because of the camera, but there's, like, little snowflakes stitched on there. So pretty. So pretty. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> And then she also made me some, she said so, this was stuff from her, the kind of stuff that she sells at her crafter. Well, so she, she sent me two um, knitted dish cloths. And this is that Granny's Favorite, I think, pattern. I actually knitted a couple of these before. I decided I don't like knitting. These are awesome. Me and Devin love, 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 love uh, homemade dish cloths. We use them all the time. And actually, the first two that I ever gotten were the same pattern, but they were bigger. And they're starting to fall apart now. We've used them so much. So it's awesome that I get to switch them out with some new ones. Well, actually, I'm not going to get rid of those ones until they literally unravel. <laughs> One of them is unraveling in the corner. But I'm still going to use it until it unravels all the way. But, okay. So many goodies. And then she sent me this cool notepad, which I love notepads. Don't we all, though? And it's paper crafted. And on the inside is a legal pad. A 2020 calendar and a sticky notepad and it also has a pen <laughs> this is cool this will probably go into my tote bag that I carry around uh, I don't really carry it a lot because I don't carry a purse but when I do need to carry a bunch of stuff with me I carry a tote bag and I put like Jesse's change of clothes in there and my wallet and whatever I have to take with me that day I'll probably throw this in there so that I can use it on the go and this was the card that she sent me homemade so pretty. It says, there's magic in the air. And the, the, the Santa's bag is like 3D. And uh, there's a message in there, so I'm not going to show the letter. But she did make it. Look, she's even got a stamp that says handmade. Hand stamped by Phyllis. And then it's got copyright Stampin' Up. So she's a Stampin' Up user. <laughs> I used to have a bunch of Stampin' Up stuff, but I actually gave it to my sister. Because I'm not good at paper crafts. <laughs> I want to be so bad, but I'm just not. Alright, also... S'mores are a big thing in our family, so she sent me two s'mores kits. So this one says, S'more holiday wishes. I can't read backwards, sorry. <laughs> it 
and have some more fun this holiday season. Super cute. These Santas are like plastic. I don't know what they are, but they're cool. And then inside of them, it's got marshmallows, chocolate, and graham crackers. Each of them has it. What's, what's so hard about using this stuff is it's so cute, you don't want to actually open it and use it. But I will. <laughs> I just kind of feel bad when I do. But they're so cute. Oh, these would be such cute gifts. I mean, you know, I got them as gifts, but, I, you know, I, I would tell it, I'd be the first person that would buy them to give to other people. And then she sent me my very first ever cup cozy, and which is awesome because I just bought a really uh, good cozy from another YouTuber. Her name is Kim. I went to a craft fair and bought one of her uh, painted, spun, spin painted tumblers. And then Devin got one at work for Christmas. So, and he gave it to me because he doesn't like using travel mugs. I think the sticker is just stuck on there. I don't think it's supposed to be there, but, um, I can't wait to use this because I've never got one of these and I've never made one. And, uh, now I got one and I got this cool little, whoop, it just fell off, little, um, cup shaped cardboard thing. <laughs> get on there. And what's funny is these are actually the high school that's here's, uh, colors. Our local high school's colors are those colors. And then I got this really cool Harry Potter themed tissue dispenser keychain. <laughs> This is really cool. This is so cool. My sister might try to steal it from me, but she ain't gonna get it. And then, more. It's a really big box, and this ain't even nearly half of it. Then there's these three um, tubes of candy, which I guess are for Jesse, but I mean, he'll have to share. But one has Santa on top, paper crafted. And it's just a tube of like M&Ms, I guess. Yeah, there's the M. <laughs> and then an elf. Oh, it's blown out. The color's not that. See, he's glittery. And then my personal favorite, the Grinch. <laughs> and then some Harry Potter pencils. It's got all the houses. And then the little paper clip has Ron Weasley on it. That's cool. My sister will want that too. But she ain't getting it. All right. And then she sent this cute little box. She had this package up really cute, by the way, with tissue paper, but we ripped through that, of course. It's a really cute box. It's got like clear sides, which is really cool. And a lot of cool gift boxes. Oh, I got three that I can reuse. And I will. <laughs> okay, so I got this little thing. It's got a jingle bell on it. But it's got Santa, and it says Merry Christmas. And inside of it is a little hand sanitizer. From, I think, Bath and Body Works. But it smells good. So that's cool. I'm going to put that in the car. Because we always need something like that in the car. Right, and then there's this it says have a cozy Christmas and it's got paper uh, cutouts on the front but the back of them are thin mints I think yeah Devin loves thin mints so I'll give him those and then she sent me I was so excited it's so cute <laughs> I don't know if I can open these though these are like hot chocolate um, kits and they have a peppermint candy a hot chocolate mix and then on the back is marshmallows and there's two of those <laughs> that's so cool and then this one i'm thinking it's chapstick i haven't opened it yet it's chapstick which is perfect because i love chapstick i wonder if that's a peppermint chapstick because those are my favorite the candy cane ones they sell around christmas time i used i used to they're a dollar i used to grab like six or seven of them so i'd have them all year long and then there's more Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> These are tea kits. So they're cute little uh, cardboard little books. <laughs> and on the inside of them, you can't really see it that good. But there's tea bags in there. And then on the back is a packet of True Lemon, which made me think of Seda as soon as I saw it because she uses it all the time. And a mint. And the other one has it also. I want teas are in there. I'll have to open those there. And then this has already been cracked into. <laughs> Devin and the girl babysit already stole two pieces of the gum. See? <laughs> but it's a pack of gum. I think it's Trident. Uh, yeah, it's Trident and it's in like a little cardboard sleeve. That's so cute. I can't believe people make stuff like this. And this is another little like book, but it's Tic Tacs. Which is cool. Dad was like, you think she's trying to tell us something? And I said, what? And he said, all this minty stuff, she's trying to tell us that we have bad breath. <laughs> it, was just, it was funny, obviously, because she doesn't know what our breath smells like. <laughs> but it was just funny. But it's so cute. And then the last thing that is in this little box 
is a magnet 2020 calendar with little bees on it, which is cool because I love bees. So cute. So that was all the goodies that was in the little box. And again, there was tissue paper in there, but we ripped through it. And then the last thing that was in the box, which was so cool that she sent it to me, but I feel bad that she sent it to me because it's, it's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, six dollars worth of stamps. <laughs> But she sent me a sheet of the Scooby stamps that I was talking about how me and Devin, or me and Jesse has been wanting them forever. And they don't sell them anymore because they were limited edition, I guess. 2018 is what it says. But now I have Scooby stamps. But now I'm going to hoard them and save them until, I don't know, I have to figure out who I want to put letters onto. And then this one over here is sticky too, this picture. So I'll use that as just a sticker. So I'm going to hoard those forever before I use them. But that was all the goodies that was in this box. It was a ton of stuff. And I love every bit of it. I can't wait to rip into these. But at the same time, I don't want to because they're so pretty. But I want to see what T's in there. Oh, there's two in there. Oh, <laughs> I have to rip into it. And uh, they're just so cute. And I'm definitely going to open this one because I love chapstick and I need it. Because my lip, you can see where it's darker right there. When I was brushing my teeth last night, I felt it crack. So I know it's going to bust. It's going to bust and it's going to hurt. My lips not so bad. They dry so bad. But I'm pretty sure that's all the mail that I've gotten lately. I think I've showed everything. <laughs> Lord, I can't even remember the last time I vlogged. I think Friday. Devin's last day was Saturday. He came home really late that night. He, he had to stay over a little bit. Um, Sunday, we... What did we do Sunday? Was that yesterday? That was yesterday. We just hung out at home a lot. We played a lot with Jesse and stuff, you know, because Devin doesn't really get to see us a lot because he his hours and his sleeping time is so weird. He works second shift. So we don't get to um, all hang out together a lot, so it's weird. Today we got up and went, we went to check the mail because I knew I had packages. <laughs> and then we went over to my in-laws and hung out with his dad. Uh, he changed his guitar strings and played guitar and stuff. And I crocheted, I actually finished a ear warmer. <laughs> I was facing. I'm tired. But, um, and then we came, we went and got some Chinese food. And then we, uh, we brought the girl, uh, that I babysit, Kat. She lives over there. Her, Devin's dad's wife, which isn't Devin's mom, it's his stepmom, is her aunt. It's really confusing. But she's, I call her, she's basically a niece to me. I, I treat, you know, she's like a niece to me. She's basically my niece, is what I always refer to her. Because I've been babysitting her ever since she was five, is when, they started dating Devin's dad and his now stepmom. Uh, they started dating the same year. I mean, Devin started dating, which was cool. And then we just became a huge family. That's what I told Devin because it was um, Devin's dad and now his stepmom. Plus, she has two kids. Plus, the little girl, the, her niece. Plus, Devin's dad has another daughter. Plus, Devin. And then me and now Jesse. So, we all just kind of met in that one year and made a huge family. And uh, now, my stepmom's daughter and son both have significant others you know not married but you know partners and then you know ever the kids are growing up it's just a big family now and i think it's cool because right when i met devin this is a really long video i just realized that oh but um some of y'all watch it some of y'all won't but right when i met devin his grandmother had just died i didn't know that he never told me for a long time <laughs> because and he said it's because he didn't want to like when we first started talking, you know, we first started liking each other and hanging out. He didn't want to uh, freak me out and scare me off by being sad and depressed and uh, mourning, which I wouldn't have been. <laughs> I would have tried to have been comforting, I would like to think. But that's just how he thought, so. Um, but I, I was, we were talking about the other day, and I was like, well, when she died, you didn't know it at the time, but you lost one person, but you ended up gaining two because me and him ended up getting married and dating for almost seven years so far. And then Jesse came along, you know, so. It's just weird how life works that way. That was also the same year that my dad died. He died earlier that year, though. He died on January 27th um, that year. He had cancer. But she died in September 15th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and now here we are. Nearly seven years later, and we're married, and we got a kid, and he's crazy, <laughs> and that's where he's at now, he went over to the dad's to take Kat back home, because she just wanted to come hang out, and she crocheted a headband while she was here, or an ear warmer, the same exact one I made, actually, she wanted me to show her how to make that, so I did, she picks it up fast, she's gonna be on YouTube one of these days, I bet, because, uh, when she gets old enough to, uh, be on YouTube, <laughs> um, she's almost 12 now, she'll be 12 in February, and so yeah, tomorrow is Christmas Eve, 
We will be going to my sister's house in the morning. The kids will be opening their gifts. The kids are just my nephew and my son, Jesse. That's the only two kids so far. Um, and then we're the grown-ups, the three couples. It's me, my sister, my brother, and then all of our spouses. Are we each each couple bought two gifts? One's a joke gift, and one's a you know real decent you know a good gift, a good gift and a bad gift. And we're gonna play a dice game where we have to exchange them and stuff. And then you can either end up with a good gift or a bad gift. <laughs> we thought that would be fun this year instead of... Normally we draw names for the adults and then everybody buys it for the kids. So it's going to be fun to see if we get a good gift or a bad gift. But I, I'm, 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 blah, blah, blah. I'm happy either way because it's fun just to play the game and just to be together. We're going to take some of our... Um, my marker... Uh, my marker. My marbles board and the marbles and some of our card games and stuff. So we can just hang out for a while playing card games and stuff. And... Um, opening gifts and then at some point we'll end up at my in-laws house tomorrow and just hang out over there the rest of the day and probably open gifts that night <laughs> they always plan to do christmas morning presents but we always usually do it christmas eve because that's usually when we're all there and uh we just open all the gifts it's gonna be hard this year though because some of them don't live at home anymore so uh if they want everybody to be there it's gonna be a lot harder to get everybody together I didn't think about that to just now. I don't know. We I'll have to see. Wait and see what happens. And then Christmas morning, I'm gonna get up and make cinnamon roll waffles and bacon, which is what I do every Christmas. <laughs> Try to do every Christmas morning. That's our Christmas morning breakfast. And we'll let Jesse open his presents here and his stocking from Santa. And then we'll Devin just be off for another week and a half, <laughs> and we'll just all hang out and chill and stuff. I'm probably gonna leave my Christmas decorations up for a while because I like looking at my cards. It's gonna be real hard to take them all down because <laughs> I gotta miss them. I, I like just like re looking at them and rereading all y'all's notes and stuff. And I still got a bunch I, I gotta hang up on the ones I just showed you, plus another stack that I procrastinated. <laughs> but I'm gonna hang them all up and I'm gonna leave them up probably till February, maybe. But our house is gonna be so empty when I take Christmas down. <laughs> but I can bring out Valentine's Day stuff and I will. As soon as Christmas goes down, Valentine's Day will come out, so. I don't have a lot of Valentine's stuff. I gotta, I gotta get to work on that. <laughs> I love having my house decorated, and it makes me so sad when it's not decorated. <laughs> so, uh, that's why I celebrate every holiday. <laughs> I've had a lot of people comment and say, I love how you uh, decorate for every holiday, and it's because it helps make me happier. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some of you noticed. I'm, I've never been diagnosed with anything, but I'm pretty sure I have ADHD or something similar to that. And um, I'm constantly moving, and I always have to be doing something, or I get... I don't want to say depressed, but I definitely get down. And uh, I think I, I could be close to being a pack rat. I don't have like a house full of stuff, but I love having sentimental things. It makes me feel closer to people. And so I like having, like the cards, I love having them. And when I take them down, it's going to make me sad because, you know, that's all these people. That's a little piece of everybody who sent me a card just hanging out in my house. <laughs> and anytime I want to, I can look at the card and read it and be, you know, even just for a moment can be connected to that person. Uh, and I'm about to cry. <laughs> That's how I am. I'm super sentimental. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here because this is already 31 minutes and I'm going to put more clips onto it. <laughs> so it's going to be a really long video. I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning. That's going to be long and very babbly. So don't have to watch it if you don't care to uh, hear babbles. But I'm going to hop off here and clear all this stuff up because it's everywhere. And i got to figure out how I'm to put everything. So I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow in a Christmas Eve vlog. I may not actually be in it a lot, but there will be clips of stuff that we're doing. Bye, guys. Hey guys, <laughs> Whew, I'm tired. I just got done cleaning the kitchen and going through the cabinets and doing all that stuff. I keep thinking I hear the email noise, but I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> but um, I got something I wanted to show you, and also today's um, 12 day Christmas thing. What did I do with it? I found it. <laughs> um, I got some cards that I got a couple days ago that I haven't showed. I have some at the post office right now, but I didn't have time to run before Devin had to go to work. We got up this morning. Um, and went grocery shopping. We had to go all the way to Sam's Club to get a few things. And then we went back to Walmart. And uh, then we came home and I had to quickly, we got a rotisserie chicken. So I was cutting it up and I was trying to stir fry some green beans on the stove so that Devin could eat before he went to work. We were running behind. <laughs> so he ate and left. And today's his last day of work until his Christmas break is over with. So woohoo. But he has to work 12, so I won't get to see him today because he won't come home. When he works 12 hours, he doesn't come home until... He gets up at 2.45 in the morning, so he gets home after 3. 
must be it's just tablet making that noise. I keep hearing the email noise. But um I'm gonna show you these cards and then when I go to the post office tomorrow I will get my um my other cards. Cause uh tomorrow's Sunday, but they're closed, but the part with the PO boxes is open. Okay, so I got this really cool card from Michelle in Washington. I've noticed I have a lot of viewers from Washington and Maine and California. I think that's interesting. And Texas. But she, this is the coolest card ever. Okay, it's a pop-up card. And when you pop it up, it's got these little flaps. I guess when they're sitting on a table it stays. That's all I can play because of copyright. But it plays music and it lights up. That is so cool. I can't wait to show that to everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I had to edit out me coughing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. I love this card. And so does Jesse. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> I had to cup Jesse. All right, back to Mel. All right, the next one I got was from Marsha, from made from made by Marsha Mom Marsha. She lives in Florida. She sent me a cool homemade card, and it's got snow in it. But it's a homemade one, and it says "Let it snow." I opened this in the post office. I stand in line because he was scanning all my packages, and uh, it snowed in the post office. <laughs> but here's the card. It's really pretty. And then when you open it, oh, there's snow and little snowflake pieces, like confetti. And if I tilt it, it'll all fall out. <laughs> she also added a tea. Oh, it's candy cane. I didn't even read that when I got it. I'm going to have to try that. But that's good. And it doesn't look like a green tea, so woo. I found out I don't really like green tea. Hey, Mom, can I give me a bowl, a bowl of water? Jesse keeps talking to me. This next card is from Billy, the crafty Floridian in Florida, obviously. Um, so she sent me this uh, snowman card. Really pretty. Thank you, Billy. She also sent me some earrings and the um, and the card. Some Christmas wreaths. They're really pretty. I don't currently have my ears pierced, but I am planning on getting them re-pierced uh, sometime this coming year. So I will save these for when, you know, next Christmas. <laughs> and then I got one from Wanda in... Ohio and she's from rolling through life. It's right there in front of me. <laughs> this is really pretty Santa with a snowman Thank you Wanda And then the last one that I got I think this was Friday that I checked them out. I can't even remember. This is from uh, Oh gosh, she told me how to say her name once and I forgot It's not Laura. It's Laura Lee maybe from Idaho I know she told me how to pronounce her name once and then I forgot. Lorley. Lorley. There you go. She told me again. <laughs> but she sent me this cute one. She always writes how to say her name because I always forget apparently. But it's Laura as in folklore and then Lee, L-E-E. -E, so it's Lorley. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. It's easy. Okay. And then also did the, the day 21 out. It's right there. Of, uh... This, the 12 days of Christmas that Marianne sent me. I'm going to open it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It feels thin. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is this a... This is a... a uh, what are they called? A bangle. Maybe this is one of those... Let me see what the stamp says on the back of it. This is a, like a bangle thing, like for your wrist, a bracelet. It's really shiny, but it could also be, uh, I noticed lately that the Holly Popper Pineapple, she has been designing these to use for um, shawls and she calls them shawl cuffs or something like that. So this could be a bracelet or a shawl cuff. It's really like foil and shiny. That's really cool. So thank you so much. I have been really enjoying the uh, 12 days of Christmas thing. And next year I'm going to plan to do a 25 day thing with someone, like another YouTuber maybe. Or just a viewer, you know, whoever. Or, and I'm also going to try to get my sister. I'll pay for it, but I'm going to have her make me one. <laughs> so that I could just open little things every day. I think that would be fun. But yeah, so I'm going to hop up here. I'm going to try to finish up my scarf that I got in here. It's almost done. I'm on the last row. But it's just taking a while to get all the way around it because it's a scarf and it's the border. I'm going to sit here and work on that and then I'm going to film a No Catch Name episode later. 
I haven't been working on a ton of stuff, but I'll be sharing everything that I have been working on. And I also found a couple of cool, more cool things to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to try to keep doing that. Every time I find a cool post or something, I'm going to add it to my No Kitchen Name episode. Just to uh, share some cool crochet stuff that I come across. But I'll catch up with you guys later. Mm -hmm.